In this video, we'll look at making an interactive application using the read line command within our C-sharp programming language. To begin with, I'll create a new project. So I'm going to go ahead and click on the new project here. And we're going to call this project interactive. And I'll go ahead and hit OK. I'm going to begin my application by prompting the user to want to enter uh, some information to our program. So what we're going to use is just the console uh, write line. And then I'm going to go ahead and actually just write a question for the user to answer. I'm just going to simply put, how old are you? And then we're going to go ahead and close this with our proper syntax for the programming language. And now for the user, it appears as though the program is asking them a question. And that's what we've done here by writing the statement. We've prompted the user for an answer. And so what we're going to do now is we're going to look for a variable, creating a variable that will actually hold the answer that we want them to type in. So we're going to need to have something that actually holds that data in memory. And so I'm going to go ahead and create a string. And we're going to go ahead and just call this my age one And then once we've got this in here, I need to end this with a semicolon. Once we've got this in here, now we can actually use this container or this variable that I have available for me to actually hold the data. And so what we're going to do is we're going to say this variable, so we're going to type in my age one is going to equal whatever they type in. And how we actually write this line is by doing a console dot, I'm sorry, read this line is with a console dot read line. And I'll go ahead and do this and we'll end that with a semicolon. And so now what's going to end up happening is it's going to write the question and then it's going to go ahead and create us a variable to hold the data or hold basically my string value in and we're going to set this read line or whatever they actually type in within my application to be stored within this variable called my age. And so if we go ahead now and just simply write a console dot write line we can actually write what that variable is and so I'll just go ahead and do this and then we'll end that with a semicolon. So now if I run my application, what it's going to do is it's going to print this statement, how old are you? It's going to create a string behind the scenes here. It'll create the string. And then it's going to go ahead and prompt the user to write something in. It's going to give us an option to actually read um, whatever the user types in. It's going to store that in this variable that we have created here. And then it's just going to rewrite what they've typed in. So let's go ahead. And I'm going to go to debug. And we're going to start with there we go. Start that without the debugging. And so it says, how old are you? And if you notice that I've got a blinking cursor, basically it's writing because our waiting for us to write something in. It's going to actually read what we type in because of this console read line. So it's already printed the statement. How old are you? It's created the string. And so now we're actually waiting. Our program is waiting for us to type something in so that it can read it and store it in this variable. So I'm going to go ahead and just type in, I'll just type in 30. And I'll go ahead and hit enter. And you'll notice that then it repeats, the next line it just repeats what I've typed in and that's what we told it to do. We said console write line whatever this variable is. And so we were able to do that with our program. So let's go ahead now and modify what we have. And so I'm going to go ahead now and just put the uh, double quote there. I'm going to type in you are and we're going to go ahead and use a placeholder here. And we're going to use our zero, that's our first counting number for our placeholders here. So you are uh, and then we're going to use the variable years old and that with the double quote and uh, then we're going to go ahead and use the comma to separate uh, my statement versus the object that's going to be passed into our first placeholder and so now it's going to go ahead if let's go ahead and rerun this I'm going to go de back to debug start without debugging this time it says how old are you and I'll type in 30 and it says you are 30 years old now if this doesn't make sense to you or you can't figure out exactly how this works with a placeholder, there is another method for us to use and I'm going to go ahead and just write that here, console.writeLine and we're going to go ahead and use the UR, uh, let's see, let's change this up a little bit, UR and then we're going to go ahead and put a space and end this quote and we're going to use what's called concatenation. And concatenation is the ability to append data to a statement here. So if it says you are, we're going to go ahead and say add to it. And so in C sharp, the concatenation symbol is going to be the plus symbol. We're going to go ahead and say add to it my age one. And then we're going to say add to it the rest of our text statement or our string statement years old. And I'm going to go ahead and put a space before the Y. And then we'll go ahead and close that. 
and we'll go ahead and close up parentheses and end our semicolon. So this is going to basically read, you are, and then it's going to go ahead and put a space and then end that string. And then we're going to go ahead and say, add to it my age one variable. And then we're going to say, after that, add to it this text that you see here within the double quote. So let's go ahead and run this one more time. Start without debugging. And you'll see here I've got, how old are you? If I type in 30 you'll see that it writes a statement twice. You are 30 years old, you are 30 years old. And it's just another way of actually writing a statement similar to what we have here. One thing to remember is that when you do use the read line option to input data, it's going to only input it as a string. And so if you notice in our code, we did say that my age one is a string. And we use that string variable to actually accept the data that the user typed in by using the read line command. So this will conclude our video on how to use the read line command and take a user's input and reuse it within our application.